Hey everyone, I'm back on the live commentary hype train because as you probably guessed, in today's video we're going to be heading towards the Elden Ring PvP Colosseums. Now I think I speak for everyone when I say that this announcement really took me by surprise. I didn't expect them to put the arena in so quickly slash Colosseum and I certainly didn't expect things to release today. It's very good, I gotta admit, it's very good, because I genuinely thought we'd have to wait until the first DLC pack came out that we're gonna get this. But that's not the case. Uh, we have the Colosseums of Limgrave, Kaelid, and the Capitol as well. Now, this is not going to be sort of completely blind, because I did want to check if everything is working, so I did come to the Colosseums and I actually unlocked them. I haven't played any PvP matches, and you guys probably know, I've played a lot of Elden Ring, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've not done any ounce of PvPing in this game, so this is going to be completely blind, so to speak. Uh, this character is the character from my first playthrough, if you're interested in the setup, it's I'm using the Frozen Needle, but I also have, uh, where is it? I also have a Keen Omen Cleaver, the Reduvia, a Keen Misericord, which is not upgraded at all, and of course the Reliable Buckler. I have some like bad talismans, I need to... Okay, this is good, we'll get that. Stamina Recovery Speed, okay, Maximum Stamina, okay, we need something instead of this. Let me just figure something out. I don't know if I have anything particularly good, so let's just go for the Crimson Seed Talisman. Anyways, how PvP works is you have this little sort of um, standing desk here, this little altar, and you can pick your little modes. So you have Combat or Deal. From what I've gathered, this is essentially Deathmatch. And you have United Combat, which is Team Deathmatch. Um, Let's try a duel here, so we'll go combat or deal. I have no idea how United Combat 2 combatants would work. That doesn't seem like an option that should be like existing in my view, but whatever. Um, spirit Ashes are prohibited. How do you turn these on? Uh, hold on. Yeah, because there's like no option select here. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this out. I have no idea how I'll do. I can imagine I'll do very badly. If you've seen my Dark Souls 2 PvP video that I've recently uploaded, uh, that's gonna be in the little title card if you wanna check that out after this video. It's probably also gonna be linked in the pinned comment. Um, I was doing okay. I can see myself being able to readjust to Dark Souls 3 PvP. Not sure about Elden Ring. Okay. I'm already feeling like I'm home because we have people spinning around like crazy and that's kind of what I was expecting. This is truly, this has been the FromSoft PvP meta. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Since like forever, the spinning around and jumping like crazy. By the way, yes, this weapon is straight up the Ice Rapier from Dark Souls 2, by the way. I said by the way a lot. Oh, we have Phantom Range! All the hallmarks, I'm seeing all the hallmarks of good Souls PvP. Phantom Range on weapons. How the hell did he heal so quickly? What? What was the first heal he did? Holy shit, the Phantom Range. Um, yeah, I've, I'm feeling like I'm right at home. It's like I've never even left. I'm fucked. He's using the, I think that's the... Is that the God Skin Peeler? I think it was. Now, luckily, one of the best things about this arena system is that it no longer functions like how Dark Souls 2 did, which is... which is like, you know, one match and you're gone. Instead, you actually have like a set time limit and you need to get as many kills as possible. So 
that system is way better because you know the annoying thing about dark souls 2 pvp was always the arenas i'm talking about specifically the annoying thing was that you basically sat around like an idiot for most of your play time luckily this doesn't break the weapon Oh my fucking god. Did you see that damage? Okay. I have no idea what's going on because I read up on the PvP meta and they say it's uh, like level 125. This character is level 100 and... I don't know. I think it's level 123. So I should be like on equal footing against this guy and he's like kicking my ass. Okay, watch the stamina. Like, I can't even hit him. Wow, that was... <laughs> I would be pissed if I was him. <laughs> like, genuinely. Get frostbitten. Oh, that doesn't stun as long as I remember. Okay. He's, like, prepared for everything. I appreciate that. I like a committed person. I've seen PvP of this game and everybody uses that fucking ability. I don't remember which weapon has this. That should have been. Whoa, okay. I cannot believe that didn't hit. That really should have hit. He has like a ton of phantom range. This sucks. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm getting my ass kicked. To be fair, again, I'm like a total noob when it comes to Elden Ring PvP. I have no idea what the meta is. It seems like it's really hard to chase people down with the movement system of this game. There we go. I got a kill. I'll, um... I'll be happy if I get at least one kill. I mean, I wasn't expecting much. See, one of the crazy things I'm thinking about looking at how this functions, though, is that is absolutely crazy. Um, truly, it's like, it's like I'm back in 2014 playing Dark Souls 2. It's bringing back all the memories. Ouch. See, one thing that sort of I'm curious about with this current system is like what's stopping people from just like turtling, you know, like getting one kill. Ah, oh, I think I would have gotten that second kill too. Well, I'm, I'm getting some practice in. GG's. GG's, GG's. Well done, mister. I, I didn't see your name. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So, yeah, again, I don't know what's going to stop people from just, like, turtling, like, all hell uh, when they get a single kill. Yeah, that was fun. That was entertaining. I do have another character, the Mage, that's also similarly leveled. So, I will be able to try out PvP with that character as well. Maybe Magic is the meta. I've kind of seen... Again, I've watched PvP of this game. So, I know what's up. Uh, let's try a 4 person deathmatch. Let's see what happens. I'm just testing, you know, how um, the matchmaking is and everything, how active things are. And that was relatively quick to get a match. But we'll see. So I was going to say, with magic, what I've seen is people tend to use the really quick spells, like Carrion Slicer, um, the Swift Glintstone, they don't really use it. Like, you can't use shit like Comet Azor in PvP because you just get backstabbed. Oh, man. If you're not doing this while you're waiting, I don't know if we can be friends, honestly. And, of course, again, back to what I was saying, the, the actual sort of mechanics are the same as they've been for any FromSoft game, as in... Yeah, weapons have crazy phantom hitboxes, 
people sort of lag, uh, connections are not good. It's, listen, like, yeah, I'm not holding it against Elden Ring. It's always been like this. Obviously, FromSoft doesn't make multiplayer games. This is not a multiplayer-focused game in a sense that this is not like serious competitive PvP. It's just like a fun additional mode. And I think that's how people should approach it. I think there are people out there, just like with all aspects of Souls games and Elden Ring, that take shit way too seriously. And I think the PvP and arenas and coliseums are no exception. People just go absolutely ham and they're like, whoa, 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 he's using the meta build and what the fuck is this is so cheap. Like, bro, this is you're not playing Mortal Kombat 11 or Street Fighter. This is an action RPG that happens to have PvP added. Um, just chill out and enjoy what's there. And I think if you take the half joking, less serious mindset with this game. I think it just becomes way more enjoyable because you're gonna get like, like that guy ran at me with, I think that was the Godskin Peeler and the weapon was um, like five meters to my right and it registers as a hit. Like, you know, I could choose to get mad about that and bitch about the phantom range and the connections or I can just like laugh it off. I think that's the best situation. Okay, this is like not happening at all. Um, and that used to be the thing with the arena sometimes in these games that sometimes it just doesn't happen. Let's try going for any number of combatants. Maybe that that's going to help the situation. One thing I'm curious about and I don't know is whether the players are divided between the arenas. Whether like if I go any combatants or like whatever... Can I only get matched against people in the Limgrave arena or does it go for all of them? Because I think that's going to determine a little bit how sort of successful this is going to be. Because I feel like eventually people are just going to gravitate to one of the arenas and then, you know, not use the other ones. That's how it was in Dark Souls 2 as well. Okay, I'm just cancel the matchmaking on my ass. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're in. Team Deathmatch, I have a slight suspicion that this is going to be chaotic AF and that should be a lot of fun. I got rid of my Misericord because there's no point in keeping that around. Yeah, I think locking on is going to be out of the question here. How does everybody have like insane amounts of HP? Are you seeing this? Like, I feel like I'm taking way more damage from people than damage I'm dishing out. Which is strange because my Vigor is at 65 and I feel like that's about the meta. Oh god, the jumping attack of this thing sucks. Why can't this weapon have a normal jumping attack? Yes, I'm using Bleed and Frostbite. Um, you might think I'm a, like a meta hunter. And I kind of am. Listen, I'm, this is not like Rivers of Blood or anything like that. I'm using the meta, but like the cheap version. If that makes any sense. That is kind of crazy. That's the Garang spell, isn't it? I'm getting my ass kicked once again. I feel like the Omen Cleaver ain't it, Chief. Oh yeah, yeah, just please spawn me right in the middle of everyone. Oh, the Radon thing. That's the Radon weapon. Okay, yeah, just please don't hit. Yeah, I gotta be careful because he can go nutty with that weapon. Okay, finally I'm dealing some damage. Oh, what? I survived, but... Can you, like, not... There we go. Because I really thought I would be able to stun lock him out of that. 
Giga Chad. Snipe. How did that snipe not work? There we go. That was my kill, wasn't it? Yes, it was. As deserved. How have I been alive for so long? <laughs> this is... I'm liking this. I mean, I have like the least crazy weapons out of this group right here. And... Things are still very, very chaotic. My kill! What? Are you kidding? This like, fucking... Busted ass connection. Getting knocked down actually saved my ass there. I was like, please tell me that's my kill. Cause it sure as hell is. Oh yeah, if everybody's using flasks, I'm using one too. Crucible horn. Everybody's using miracles actually. That's the weird thing. Like, I'm so in that Dark Souls 3 mindset where... You know, like, miracles used to be bad. That's my kill. Thank you. And that was kind of insane. That connection is on some dookie. This guy's playing out of an internet cafe for sure. In, like, Bucharest or something. actually kind of crazy that you can't interrupt that this is by the way can i just say this is way more fun than the 1v1 mode my kill my kill no i'm just here stealing kills um that's my plan that's my game plan hang out on the sidelines and just when they least expect it oh, please tell me i can get a parry no Oh, that would be so good. Whoa, okay. That was crazy. Yeah, I think parries are not going to be it, Chief. It seems like everybody has a crazy amount of HP. Maybe I'm just... Alright, defeat. Who won? Doesn't say who won, does it? I was trying to do a gesture, but this game has quick load times, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was way more fun than the one we won. And I feel like with just the amount of crazy shit that's in this game in terms of the spells, the weapon arts, all the crazy ass weapons, I feel like these chaotic sort of arena modes are going to be the the sort of the fun part maybe i'm just not good enough at one we want to uh make it so it's fun and by the way what i was mentioning is um did i mention it i'm not sure but anyways there is like a quick access here in the round table hold to all the you know, sort of coliseums you have unlocked and all that i unlocked the kalid coliseum but i didn't actually go in because i knew i would be recording this so let's just check that out. Let's see if there is. So I'm guessing all of the arenas are separated, uh, but I just kind of want to confirm it. Yeah, I remember this one looks more menacing, a bit more Kaylidy. Uh, so let's check it out. Oh, oh, that's the difference. Hey, what is this? Duel? What the hell is Duel though? So, like, we have combat ordeal with two combatants, but spirit ashes are allowed. Let's try it. Uh, I don't have, like, a proper spirit ash with this character. As in, I never bothered to actually upgrade one fully. And that's not what I meant to do. So, if everybody's gonna be summoning in the duel, I'm... Praying and hoping that they scale it. One of the better things I think Elden Ring introduced, it was one of in one of the recent patches, is that they scale your equipment uh, to those who are invading you and vice versa. So like if you're new to the game and you only have like 
um, I don't know, plus whatever weapon, seven or eight, and you will get invaded by someone with a plus 25. It will start, sort of like bring the things closer together. All right, whatever this dual shit is, it's just not happening. I've been waiting for, for here for I don't know how long and I can't get a single match. So let's just try... Because I want to see the Kaelid Arena, the Kaelid version. So let's just have a look. It would be a little bit worrying if the Kaelid Arena was already like extremely dead. Um, which kind of seems to be the case right now because there ain't a single living soul over here. Um, but yeah, let's give it a chance and I'll get back to you if anything happens. Yeah, I think I can officially issue a preliminary report to say that the Kaelid Arena to me looks pretty dead. Like, not much is going on. And that's a little bit worrying because I'm guessing if people are filtering to other parts. Let's see if the Limgrave Colosseum can get us a duel that we're looking for. Um, cause this duel shit, I, I just want to see what it is. I just want to see what's going on with the duel. And it's just weirdly not working. I mean, I'm not playing at like peak times when people are going to be most active, but I mean, this game being so popular and it should be fairly easy to find matches. So I had to go with a standard sort of match. The dual thing is not working. Um, I tried every possibility and, you know, it's just not happening. So we'll just go for a random match here. Um, it would be nice to win as well. Okay, this is... I can already tell this is the best connection so far. Things are actually functioning. Nice! And I think what happens if you get a kill, it should heal you. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. It restores FP as well. Um. Oh, there he is. I do like the no spawn camping solution here. Oh, are you kidding me? <gasps> what a bitch! Already. Listen, this is my like third game overall and people are already rage quitting. Holy shit. This really is within the past... I've been recording for 35 minutes with the weights. This really is the... Like, it ticks all the souls checkboxes. Every single one of them for Souls PvP. You have people lagging, phantom, rage quitting. It is just absolutely primo. Let me get one more game and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, here we go. Is it the exact same? No, it's not. <laughs> just had a very similar outfit. So I was like... It would have been good. But, no. What is that weapon? Oh, it's the Beastman thing, isn't it? The Farmazula Beastman thing. Okay, this connection is definitely less good than the previous one. What the actual hell was that? What? <laughs> I have never seen that weapon. I was wondering what that's gonna do. Yeah, that's the other thing. There are so many weapons and shields and skills and everything in this game. I don't know what half of them do. I was not expecting that. Like, if you asked me to predict what was gonna happen, I would have been like Doctor Strange going through all the, like, possibilities. And I definitely wouldn't have arrived at that. That's for sure. I do like how, again, the, the meta of running around like an idiot in circles is alive and well. That's truly... Oh, the phantom range.
Oh yeah, they added poison to this game some time ago, right? I totally forgot about it. I'm getting my ass kicked. Alright, let me just get my shit together here. It seems like I, I don't know what's going on that I'm like not dealing damage to people. It's just kind of crazy. What the fuck? Game. Okay, that's actually ridiculous. Um. It seems like it's really difficult to chase people down. That's one of the things I've noticed. Maybe this weapon is like stubby as fuck. Uh, I can imagine that. But I'm like having real trouble, like I said, just chasing people down. Uh, I mean, with this connection especially, it's like... There we go. I think I do have poison moss. I don't think I'm gonna bring this back. If I had to make a little guess here. I don't think I'm gonna bring this back, but you never know. What is that? <laughs> The po okay, the poise is actually insane. When did they add poise to be this strong in this game? Like, poise didn't exist, did it? And he's like tanking through every single thing I'm doing. But I'm not... Listen, if I switch to my... Fucking... What you call it? Like, this ain't gonna be it, right? This connection is absolutely getting nutty. Like, I, I don't even know. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Well, he somehow still beat me. Man, this Omen Cleaver... I went for this weapon for the cool factor initially. But it sucks, and I think PvPing with it um, made me realize that uh, this this thing is awful. This thing is absolutely awful. It has like no range on it. That would have been. I don't think you can parry that. Yeah, this is like quickly falling apart. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, I got my ass kicked. Uh, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Classic. Classic. I mean, again, all the hallmarks are there. I think with that, we have a pretty good understanding of Elden Ring's Colosseums and in Elden Ring PvP in general. Again, I've watched PvP of this game and yeah, as I mentioned several times, there are no surprises here. It's the usual stuff and I might just dip into this Colosseum once in a while, but it's not gonna be um, really grabbing me. I don't know what it was about Dark Souls 2 that made it so special for me because I've never been able to get into any of the other game's PvPs as much as that one. And I think this one is no different, though I do have to mention the team mode is a lot of fun. The team mode I enjoyed the most and I think if I'm gonna play I'll play those modes because it just gets so chaotic with this game and that's sort of the fun of it. Um, other than that, yeah, it's working fine. I mean, you can get matches and all that, connections are the usual and yeah this is just standard nice that the Colosseums are here by the way I know I've been like talking about that Sekiro video for 
a while now. That was supposed to be coming out this week, but was derailed by this. Um, so if you're going to blame anyone, blame FromSoft for announcing this and then immediately releasing it on my upload day. Um, I, I mean, I had to cover this. And yeah, it's good. I do like the change that you are allowed to heal once. I'm not a big fan of healing normally in like serious duels, but I think limiting it to one is is good. That's the best option because it gives you some leeway. The duels don't end too quickly. And it's actually still possible to punish uh, healing in this game if you're quick enough. It's not as impossible as it was in Dark Souls 3. So yeah, I had fun. Yeah, about as much fun as I've always had with any of the PvPs in FromSoft games. That's not Dark Souls 2. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. What I'm going to do is I'll leave a link to my second Elden Ring review at the end of this video if you want to uh, like get my full thoughts on the game. I also have two playthroughs of this game, like full playthroughs on the channel if you want to check those out. Those should be in the pinned comments. And yeah, just check out my videos in general. I do weekly sort of in-depth discussions on From Games, uh, gaming in general, specific Souls game mechanics, whatever comes to mind. I also have a video of me doing Dark Souls 2 PvP recently, which is fun to check out. Anyways, I'll end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual if you're new here. And yeah, I hope to catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.